So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the Holly HyperSpark uh, timing, get a better global uh, timing ICF for your HyperSpark because the, the stock one doesn't come very, it comes rather elementary. You know, it has, uh, you know, 15 degrees of initial timing and I'm going to show you here why I do that. So let me go to uh, the Holly EFI tables and let me just open up a global config, open config, and I'll go to base cals and then um, I'll just go to race cam. So I open this up and I click on this Spark ICF right here and uh, I'll click on the 2D table to, to open this all up. Now you can see that my initial timing, you know, it's all 15, right? But, you know, then that's okay. That's fine. If your initial is 15, your initial is 15. But what I'm trying to get at here is when I click on graph, you can see how sharp this is. And this can cause problems for a lot of engines. You know, it can cause backfiring, uh, sputtering, you know, you know, you know, stalling, not stalling, but, you know, falling on your face. It can cause a little bit of problems. So, you know, and it's very sharp, it's very jagged, and it's not very good. For me personally, I like to um, come into the V5. So I'll download the Holly V5 software right here, and they have uh, better timing tables because they have better, not better, but they have more complicated systems like the Dominator, uh, the Terminator, multi-port uh, injection. Uh, and so they have a better base timing tables for you to use. So I'll download, so I'll download, you know, the software and then uh, I'll, I'll open up. Let me close this to show you guys. No, I don't want to save this. So I'll, and I'll open it up. Open the V5. I'll just open a global config, uh, base cals. And so here it says MPI. What that stands for is multi-port injection re we don't want to use that. We can use it. Uh, I've checked all of these timing tables and they're all exactly the same for the MPIs and the TBIs. But since ours is a TBI, I'll just stick with a TBI like the, ter the, like the Terminator, for example. So I'll double click on this, click OK, and then come up here to the Spark ICF. Uh, and now it gives us a graph. I'm going to graph it. And now you can see how much smoother this is. See how much smoother that is compared to ours? And we we want to we want this smoothness to start off with. I, I don't want this. So what I'll do here is, uh, and I'll just show you for an example as well. So I click on byte based timing table. Um, so you can see here this is two ten, right? And this is one. And if we come over here to the hot to the version five, the TBI, it's one o five and two. So this is also a lesson on how to change this. So I'll double click on this. And I'm going to put 105, hit enter. So now my values did change, uh, but they didn't change as much as I wanted them to. So I'm going to double click on this bottom one and I'm going to click two, hit enter. Then what I'll do is I'll right click and I'm going to fill col column values. So now it's better offset. So now we have two, five, nine, twelve. Okay, it's not going to match perfectly, um, but so the, the, the other thing that we have to do to get this enlarged one is we have to click enable larger table. So now we have a big one. So it's 25711. 25711. So here we have 25912. That's, that's close enough for me to get started. I mean, one, two KPAs uh, is not going to make a difference uh, to a lot of uh, engines out there, not mine. And so then what I'll do here is I'm going to left click and then I'm going to drag it all the way across. And then I'll right click and then I'll copy and I'll come back to my Holly. Same thing. Left click, hold it, drag it all the way across. Right click and now I'm going to paste. Now you're going to see all of these values being filled in. That little arrow down there indicates that the values have been changed. So now if I go to graph, you're going to see how it is a lot better than it was before. So you can see it's very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. And it's the exact same table. Okay, exact same table. Now this, so that's 
is essentially how we cre we create a better Holly HyperSpark timing table than the stock one because the stock one again has too many jagged edges and in EFI we don't want jagged edges especially when it comes to timing and our fuel table okay so the second thing I'll show you here is how to change um, your per th this what I showed you here so this 105 and I'm going to show it to you, show it to you how to do it in the RPMs so let's say your engine maxes out at 6,000 RPMs so what we'll do here is we'll, t we'll double click it so it turns blue and then we'll type in 6500 hit enter Okay, so you can see the values change a little bit, 64, 16, 6,333, 6,250, which is, which is okay. It might be sufficient for you, um, but what I'll do here is I'll right click and then I'll fill row values. So now it's a little bit cleaner. So we have 65, 6,300, 6,100, uh, and so forth, all the way down the line. And then uh, we can graph this and see how nice that, that looks. So this is you know, a good way to give yourself a better initial timing table to start with than the standard one. If you like this video, if it helped you out at all, please subscribe and hit a smash that like button. Thank you.